again, everybody. It's Amigo Tio, the North Country Latino. And guess what? Spain, they won the World Cup. La Copa Mundial, eh? Yeah, I know. I was pushing for all the Central and South American countries. Honduras, Brazilian, everybody. They all lost, didn't they? Oh, well. Hey, it was a great World Cup. I won't say. It's been a lot less boring than some of the last ones. You know, it was France and Italy for the 10 millionth time, but oh well. And, you know, I mean, I'm part German. I could have gone for Germany, but I went for Spain too, you know? And because of that, we have to celebrate with some awesome food. First thing I'm going to make is a tapa. Now, I know that Spain and Morocco aren't quite joined the way they used to be, but this is going to be a Moroccan version of hummus. And I'm going to whip that up in a minute here. What we have in the blender, ready to go, is, of course, the chickpeas. Can't have a hummus without garbanzos. And we got a cup of jar roasted red bell peppers, and a garlic cloves, cumin, some lemon juice, some canola oil, and guess what I'm going to use? Instead of tahini, which is I know what most people use. You know what works for me really good? You'll never guess. Just a little dab, not a huge amount, a little dab, peanut butter. It's got protein and all, you know what I'm saying? In it goes. And we put the cap on. This sucker's ready to blend. There we know. I know I got a pesky top, but oh well. Let's plug it in. And. Now the main meal is going to be this empanada, and this is very fat-free, well, excuse me, low-fat turkey sausage cut up by Genio. I never use the heavy stuff, Bob Evans and all those kinds, the beef sausage, the pork sausage, all the turkey sausage with me. I used to get the healthy choice where they stopped carrying it in town, but Genio's is pretty low too, so it's good. And the sodium isn't bad either. It's not like they skyrocket that to make up for it. And it's also going to have some onion and some red bell pepper and a little bit of ham in it as well. And I add some mozzarella to make it cool. Now this is the Spanish empanada, of course, because, you know, Spain won the World Cup, folks. This isn't the little empanadas, say... If Argentina had won the World Cup, or Paraguay, or even Brasilia, this is like having, think of, oh, think of Priazzo. Remember Priazzo Pizza Hut years and years ago, the Italian pie that they had? That's what this is going to be more like. You'll see. Now, what I have here is some spread out, stretchable, more or less pizza dough. And what I'm going to do is take all our different ingredients and spread it on the dough. Of course, you put it all in the middle so that you're not getting things too close to the edge. You can work your way to the edges, but you don't want it to be so crazy at the edge that everything's splurging out while you're trying to put this together, you know? So it's kind of like a big shelled pastry. Mostly with veggies inside, of course. And the ham I use is, you know, calls for prosciutto and everything. Just low-fat, low-sodium ham I was able to get from the store. This recipe actually comes from that uh, Spain on the road again. Remember that series with Gwyneth Paltrow that was on PBS, oh, what was it a year ago or is it two years ago? It was awesome. And I'll never forget it. And I was able to get this recipe off of their website. With sausage now. Catch some of that. Luckily, I'm in the pan, you know. And 
and see I'm kind of keeping it about an inch or so off the edge because what I'm going to do is top it with another round of dough. Pinch it together and you've got yourself a Spanish empanada. Oops, forgot to talk about the cheese. Let's go pour that over. No real specification as to how much cheese because this is my little treat actually. Add it on. Kind of making it a little more kid friendly for the family, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So yeah, it's going to be like a big shell. Now, ready to get in the oven, and to go along with it is another top I made. These are Perdi Perdi chicken legs, which are supposed to be Perdi Perdi chicken nibbles, which are supposed to be used with chicken wings, but I couldn't find any chicken wings other than those really high fat frozen kind, so I used drumsticks and got the skin off and everything. Basically, the sauce is made with some chili peppers, some cider vinegar, olive oil, cayenne, um, fresh garlic clove and paprika and it's going to go in the oven right along with the empanada and there it is. Now this stuff I'm going to make is a kind of an old trick recipe that the Spanish teacher that I worked with down St. Anthony's in Florence, South Carolina taught me. You take some toasted, you can use Italian or French bread, and spread a little garlic on it get it toasted so nice and dry. Then you take half a tomato and you rub it on there. It's Catalan tomato bread. And you rub it around so it makes a coating. And you don't have to cook it anymore either because you toasted it and dried it out. Now before we got done with everything I wanted to show you my flan. Just got it out of the mold. Decided I'm going to pour some of the excess over it here. Decided that I wanted to get that out and about before I ran out of time here. Because the other food's going to almost be done. But this is my flan. Came out really good. This is the mold I have. It, the flan is a nice floral pattern. And uh, it's a Goya flan. I confess, I didn't make it from hand scratch this time. I've done that before. But oh well, what are you going to do? I got two boxes. I went with it, you know? And it came out really good. Well, amigos, we got our tapas, we got our Catalan tomato bread, we got our peerty peerty chicken legs, we got our hummus, spread a little bit on the Catalan tomato bread, eh? And we have our huge empanada. And for the postre, plan. Viva España, viva Copa Mundial. Maybe, who knows, Argentina, Mexico, Next time, Brasilia, you know. Oh well. If anybody's hungry, you can all come over. We got plenty of room, we got plenty of food. This is Miguel Tio, the North Country Latino, saying, hey, it's time to eat. Let's celebrate. Eh?